Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to install Fabio Help Desk on an Ubuntu server. Here I am already logged into my server. You can see it is Ubuntu 18.4. Now you need to create a file called install.sh or you can use any name but extension should be .sh. Then copy paste the script, save it. Now give permission to the script, and then you can execute the script. It will take some time to complete the execution, so wait until it completes. I'll be skipping some session I will not be showing all the execution ok the script executed successfully now you need to upload the favio files for uploading favio files you can use any FTP client here you can see I have uploaded the files now I need to rename that file to Fabio Alpes. Then I need to move this Fabio Alpes to var www Fabio directory. Go to var www directory Fabio. You can see the files here. Now you need to give permission and change ownership of these uh, files so that you can use yes mode command and ch on for changing ownership The server configuration is complete now. Now you can copy paste your IP in the browser and continue with the GUI installer. You can see that I copy paste my IP here and it is working fine. This is Fabio Pro page. Fabio Pro page is nothing but it is checking all, all the requirements. You can see here uh, all the requirements are there. Now you can click on continue. accept the license agreement here you need to provide the database details for Fabio if you check the script you can see I have already created database and database user and database user password is also there you can use the same one Click on continue. Continue. Here you need to provide your details accordingly. click on continue ok uh, here it will ask for license code you can obtain the license code from billing or you can contact the support team of Fabio I will be entering the license code and skipping this session after entering the license code 
you will get a page like this here you can click on login to favio and you can give the username and password which you have created okay now the installation is done successfully you can continue using the system